Well, Hurricane Beryl has officially made landfall in the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico as a Category 2 hurricane, bringing uh, some very gusty winds and, of course, some very heavy rain. In fact, taking a look at our tropical satellite, you can see that loop there where it's making its way towards the Yucatan Peninsula and, of course, making landfall just a little while ago, probably about an under an hour or so ago, it made landfall in the Yucatan Peninsula, and it will continue to weaken as it moves across the peninsula right now. In fact, the newest advisory just came out, and the sustained winds are down to 100 miles per hour, so still Category 2, and we are also seeing the central pressure starting to increase as well, which is showing signs that the storm is weakening. And of course, we know that it will weaken as it moves across the peninsula, as it gets cut off from the fuel supply that is the warm ocean water. So once it moves over land, the storm will start to kind of fall apart a little bit more, but it is expected to get across the peninsula and into the Gulf of Mexico, where it may reorganize a little bit more and become perhaps a Category 1 hurricane as it takes a little bit of a northwesterly track and could make landfall somewhere between uh, the southern tip of Texas and getting into to the Mexican coast as well near Brownsville. We could be looking at a little bit of a landfall there. That's going to be happening uh, sometime late on Sunday night going into early Monday morning. We could be looking at landfall happening there as a Category 1 hurricane and then continuing up into southern Texas and then eventually fizzling out as it moves across the land as we head into early next week. So it's going to be, of course, something we continue to watch. And of course, right now at the Yucatan Peninsula where the hurricane has made landfall, there are hurricane warnings in effect for that area right now the tropical outlook behind hurricane barrel looking relatively quiet we are still early in our hurricane season so there's not really much to speak of at the moment so so far during the 2024 hurricane season of course we do have barrel we had tropical storm chris which came and went pretty quickly so once we get another storm to develop and become named that next name will be debbie so we have to wait and see what happens but right now not a whole lot going on in the atlantic besides hurricane barrel of course and we're not quite yet at the peak of hurricane season that doesn't come until we head into late july and into early august as we take a look right now as we look at our hour by hour forecast for us here in western mass we are going to be looking at uh, temperatures climbing slowly getting into the lower maybe some middle 80s so it's going to be a very cloudy day the clouds are certainly going to hang tough hopefully we do see a few breaks of sun but we are going to eventually see those clouds definitely win out. Now, as we head into the second half of the day, that's when we're going to start to see some showers, maybe a few downpours or a rumble of thunder start cropping up across our area. And we are going to be looking at that continuing as we head into late afternoon and into the early evening. Very isolated in nature, though, so you're not going to be seeing everybody seeing uh, showers and storms all at once, but it will be very isolated in nature. So keep an eye on the radar if you do have outdoor plans. And then as we head towards around 8, 9 o'clock, we'll start to see those showers coming to an end. During the overnight hours and early tomorrow morning, we're going to be left with mostly cloudy skies, maybe some patchy fog. It's going to be similar tomorrow morning to how it is right now with the humidity, the fog, and the cloudy skies out there. It also might be a little bit drizzly as well. We're watching another cold front that's going to come through tomorrow, and it's a slow mover, so it's going to be taking a little while. But look, recent model trends have actually had the bulk of the shower and thunderstorm activity that we're expecting for tomorrow, kind of setting up just off to our south, mainly across Connecticut. But that doesn't mean that we're going to still get clipped here in Western Mass. In fact, best chances right now, at least, are going to be south of the Mass Pike. Now, we're going to have to continue to watch the next few model runs to see if that southerly trend continues to uh, go through as we head through the next couple of days or so. But then as we head into Sunday, we are going to be looking at drier conditions. It's going to be hot and humid, though, on Sunday with temperatures near 90. 92 on Monday with mostly sunny skies, and then our shower and thunderstorm chances look to mainly make a comeback as we head into the middle of next week. And it looks like it's going to be humid basically every day.